doing here is giving Remy the place command. We've already kind of gone through the basics of it with him so he does have a bit of an understanding of it. So what we're going to do is give our place command. We're going to say his name, so Remy, and then give our place command. Remy, place, and then if he doesn't immediately get up onto the place bed, we're going to mark that with a no and apply our e-collar. Okay, settle. If he doesn't immediately get onto the bed, we're going to apply the e-collar pressure by pressing and holding down on the e-collar and turning the level up until it reaches a level that's motivated enough for him to want to get onto that bed, okay? The other thing we're going to do too is give a hand signal. We're going to say place and point directly to the bed to help him get there, especially early on here in his training. We're going to add all the help that we need while that e-collar pressure is on. So we're going to start with a level 7 or so for him, but we're going to turn that up as we hold the button down until it reaches a level that makes him want to move to the bed. If he does go to the bed immediately when I give the command, if I say place, if he goes right to the bed, we're going to mark that with good. We're going to praise him, give him a food reward, and make sure he understands that that's the right behavior that we want in that moment. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do this here. Let's fix this. Remy, place. Good. So pointing to the bed. Now he's expected to stay in this command until I release him with our, our release cue, okay? So Remy, break. Break is our release cue in this situation. So we're, uh, we're giving him about a second to respond. So if I give that command and I see that he's trying to get on that bed within the one second of me giving that command, I have no reason to apply that e-collar pressure or press that stimulation. If, like I said, he ignores me or does the wrong behavior, that's when I'm gonna apply that stimulation to get his attention and remind him to head to the bed, okay? So we're gonna do this again. Ready, place, good. Marking that and then rewarding him with some food. Now as we work on the duration, we're, at, we're adding the distance duration of distractions here, right? So we're moving away from him, moving around him, using some of the toys and stuff that we have in the environment to add distractions. And what we're going to do is mark with an N-O and correct on the e-collar if he breaks the command before we give a release. No. that break
again, press, marking with an N-O, and then pressing and holding the e-collar button down until he makes his way back towards the bed. So he doesn't need to get all the way on the bed, but as soon as I see he's turning towards the bed, that's when I'm gonna release that e-collar button, okay? So there, now we're getting into that where I only need to tap on the e-collar button. So I'm marking with a no, quick tap on the e-collar, stepping into his face, and he's immediately fixing himself. So I only need to tap on the button, right? It's a no, and a quick tap on the e-collar. Perfect. Who's a good boy? Daddy, oh my goodness, he's a good boy. Good boy. Very good. Ready? Break. Break. Nice. Good boy. All done.